for your business, for all life's events. Key Video. Hello, I'm Ross Salvatore. And I'm Jan Farrington, and this is Come Dine With Me Western New York, brought to you in part by Key Video Productions and Russell's Steaks, Chops, and More. Our show is all about introducing you to some of the finest restaurants in Western New York, meeting their chefs, and learning some of the trade secrets that you can use right in your own kitchen. And to help us do that, we have three distinguished chefs of our own, and they're ready to go for another great season. Hey, chefs. Hey, Russ and Jan. I know everybody's heard of French toast. You've heard of Italian toast? Coming up in a bit, I'm gonna show you how to make it. From saltwater aquariums to scuba diving, the man that knows the most about fresh fish, Tom Payne, owner of the Grapevine Restaurant, you know, some people are afraid to make fresh fish, but Tom's going to show us how easy it is to make one of his favorite dishes, Parmesan crusted grouper. You're going to love this. We do not remember the days. We remember the moments. That's the mantra of the Duffield family. Come on with me today for this home invasion. We're going to bring Southern cuisine into this household on Main Street, USA. Also, if you're looking to remodel your kitchen, there's no better place to start than at Artisan Kitchens and Baths. You'll see why a little later when we tour this great facility. That's where Marco is now, and he's getting ready to cook up some of my favorite breakfast food. One of everybody's favorite breakfast ideas is French toast. But seeing that I'm Italian, same idea, different name but I'm gonna stuff it with cannoli filling. This is gonna be an absolutely great breakfast for you guys to make at home. And it's so simple and easy. We take an unsliced white bread. We cut it about an inch and a half thick. With a paring knife, you just put a little bit of a pocket right in the center of the bread. Just like that. We'll set that aside. So I'm gonna prepare the toast first and then I'm gonna make the batter. We're gonna cook on the EVO grill today. It's great. So I'm using a ricotta cheese and powdered sugar. Just a touch of vanilla. Gives it that kick. I'm gonna whisk that up until the sugar is melted. Because I'm in the restaurant business, we use pastry bags to fill things. But if you don't have a pastry bag, a teaspoon works just fine. And I'll show you both ways. So we throw our We've got the cheese mix in here, our cannoli filling, into the pastry bag, push it to the bottom. And that pocket, remember that pocket I told you about? Open it up. We're gonna stick our pastry bag right in there, and we're gonna fill it with about two ounces of cannoli filling. And we're gonna set that aside. Now, if you don't have the pastry bag, open that pocket up, use your teaspoon, and stuff it in. I'm used to the pastry bag. <laughs> but you can't overdo it. You want each bite to have that cannoli filling coming out. Okay, that's nice and stuffed. We'll set that aside. Now the batter is real easy. I got milk in a bowl. We're gonna sweeten the milk with a little bit of regular sugar, a little vanilla, a little cinnamon, and we're gonna whisk in a couple of eggs. And that's our batter. It's real simple, real easy. It takes just a few seconds. So that's ready. I got my toast stuffed. Let's head to the EVO grill. Let's get this cooked up. Not everybody knows what the EVO grill is. This is on display at the Artisan Kitchens and Baths upstairs. You gotta try this. Come and take a demo with it. It's an amazing flat top grill that you could cook any type of entree. So today I'm gonna start and do my Italian toast on this grill. And we're just gonna start with a little bit of whipped melted butter. We're gonna take our Italian toast, I'm gonna to set it right in the center. Now these EVO grills got two different temperatures, one real hot in the middle, and then we got a, a, a lesser heat on the outside ring. So you're able to move your food back and forth, which is great. 
We're battering our toast and we're putting it right in the center of the EVO grill. It's a nice medium heat. So while that's searing on one side, I like to add a little cinnamon to the other side. That just gives it that bite that you're going to love so much. So one side is getting crusty. You want to take your spatula. You just want to give it a, just an even press all the way around. That way the whole piece of bread gets cooked. Now once you do that, flip it over and cook the other side. You can see how nice and golden brown it's turning out to. And give that a little bit of a press too. If you don't have an EVO grill, another way of making that cheese ooey and gooey is throwing it in the oven for 10 or 15 minutes at 350 degrees. They look like they're about done. So we're going to put it on a plate to get to eat. There you have it. It doesn't always have to be French. Fuse some Italian into your toast. I'm Chef Marco. Come dine with me, Western New York. Portions of the program today are brought to you by Buffalo Hotel Supply. Design, deliver, and install. We can do it all. Be our guest, let us do the rest. Beautiful design starts with artisan kitchens and baths. Let us transform your kitchen or bath into the dream room you desire, whatever your style and taste. Artisan kitchens and baths can design and install your vision to perfection. Our design team will work within your budget to give you quality at affordable prices. Update your home with artisan kitchens and baths. 200 Amherst Street, Buffalo. Some say it's our amazing sports bar featuring a variety of specialty and craft beers. Others say it's our relaxed and comfortable dining room. But whatever draws you to Avizano Restaurante, one thing's for certain. You're going to get great Italian at a great price. We pride ourselves on our traditional sauces, homemade pastas, and delectable entrees. Avizano Restaurante, 204 Como Park Boulevard, just minutes from the Galleria Mall, where you always feel right at home. You know you need a professional video for your company or website, but you're wondering where do I begin? Well, check out Key Video, Buffalo's premier television, DVD, and web video production house. We work with big businesses and other companies that think big. Corporate image, sales, training, you name it. Scripting, shooting, editing, we call it concept to completion and we're ready to go to work for you, for your business, for all life's events. Call Key Video at 884-5391. That's 884-5391. Welcome back. Now coming up, it's our home invasion with the chefs as they head to Medina, New York to prepare a dinner for a very special family who's come to know what it means to cherish the moments in our lives. You'll see what I mean a little later in the show. But next, once again, let's head back to Artisan Kitchen and Bass with Tom Payne, owner and executive chef at The Grapevine. He's with our own chef, Art Christie. Grapevine's noted for their aquarium. Tom Payne is an avid scuba diver. Who knows best about fresh fish better than an avid scuba diver, Tom Payne? Today we're going to be preparing one of your signature dishes, Parmesan crusted grouper. Yes, um, I'm starting off here with some uh, cubed white bread. Then I'm going to add some parsley that I've chopped up. I like to use the flat Italian parsley. Okay, and then a little salt, a little pepper, a little salt first. Little pepper, and this you want to uh, you want to pretty heavily season this because this is where the fish is going to get all the flavor. I've got some fresh garlic I've chopped up here. Never too much garlic, right? Never had enough garlic. <laughs> Never had enough garlic. All right, and then this is uh, cheese. Plenty of this. Okay, some lemon juice, and then I'm going to put some 
extra virgin olive oil to bond it all together. Okay, then we're gonna mix it. Okay, this is gonna take a little bit of time to mix. Looks like it's just about done, Art. It looks awesome. It smells fantastic. Yeah, it doesn't have a beautiful aroma. Unbelievable. Now, Tom, I understand being an avid uh, scuba diver, you caught this with your own hands, right? Absolutely. Of course. Just like the ones you catch in Florida. <laughs> this is a Gulf of Mexico grouper. It's a red grouper. We're going to put it down, and then we're going to add this uh, Parmesan crust to it. And you don't want to go on too thick because it gets pasty. So we just want to put a thin crust so it gets nice and, nice and crispy while it's cooking, but we want it to be completely covered. Okay, otherwise the part that doesn't have any of the Parmesan crust will get, uh, you know, it'll get a little overcooked because the moisture for the fish is going to come out of this. Out of the breading. Out of the breading with the uh, extra virgin olive oil that we added and the lemon juice, and that's going to go down into the fish. And that keeps it nice and moist. Exactly. Now, don't worry if a little bit goes off on a pan like that. When we take it off, that'll just stay on the pan. All right, she's all ready. Actually, we'll add a little bit more right here. And we'll go right into the oven with it. We're going to go at 350 degrees for about 10 or 15 minutes. Oh my God, Tom, this is amazing. I can taste the cheese, the fresh lemons, the fresh flat leaf parsley. The infusions of flavor is amazing. You gotta be very proud of this dish. Thank you so much, Art. Remember, the Grapevine Restaurant, 2545 Niagara Falls Boulevard, Amherst. I'm Chef Tom Payne. Come dine with me, West of New York. Tonight's program is sponsored in part by Russell's Steaks, Chops, and More. Be my guest. Let us do the rest. Looking for your next favorite restaurant? Then open the door to Gatehouse Grill. At Gatehouse, we make everything from scratch, including our soups and sauces. Enjoy our award-winning chicken Rockefeller or a specialty martini from our copper-topped bar. And don't forget dessert, handcrafted daily by our pastry chef. It's no wonder Janice Oaken gives us three and a half out of four stars. Gatehouse Grill. Fine dining food. Casual dining prices. Think global but stay local at the Salvatore School of Hospitality and Business at Trocare College, where we prepare you for a future in the ever-growing worldwide hospitality industry. I love working in hospitality because you can do something different every day. And no matter what opportunities I pursue, the education I got at Trocare means I'm prepared. A world of opportunity is waiting at the Trocare School of Hospitality. Contact us today and begin your journey to success. Where can you find the lowest liquor prices? Where can you find the deals? You want popular brands of wine, rum, and tequila with service you just can't be. How do you like your drink? I like it on the ride. I like it on the ride. Liquor. The romance of Tuscany. The flavor of DePaulo's. Everything you love about DePaulo's. The food, the friendship, the family. Whether in our elegant dining room or outside in the courtyard, the atmosphere is authentic. For a simple dinner out or the affair of a lifetime, find Tuscany in your own backyard. Ilio DePaulo's Restaurant Banquets at Ringside Lounge in Blaisdell. A family restaurant with a gourmet touch. Welcome back to Come Dine With Me, Western New York. Remember, if you want to learn more about the restaurants you see on our program, or if you saw one of our chefs prepare a special dish that you'd like to make on your own, you can find the recipes at our Facebook page. So why not become a fan today? Or you could also download all of our past shows on YouTube. Well, coming up after this, get ready for our first kitchen invasion of the season. But next, if you're in the market for a new kitchen makeover, there's only one name to remember. 
Remodeling your kitchen is like putting together a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. You know what you want it to look like when it's finished, but getting there isn't easy. Using the professionals at Artisan Kitchens and Baths can ensure every piece of the puzzle comes together to match your vision and dreams to perfection. Begin with the Artisan Kitchens and Baths design team. Bring your vision to our showroom. From your own imagination, from a magazine, from your neighbor, and we'll assist you from that point forward. Step by step, we help guide you until you have the kitchen of your dreams. Cabinetry, countertops, appliances, even audio and video systems. If you want it, we can accommodate it. Cabinets are more than wooden boxes with doors. Our professionals will explain the differences, discuss your budget, and make recommendations. We carry several brands, from fully customizable to stock, all in a wide variety of woods, stains, and colors. Something to match your style, taste, and budget. Choosing the right countertop is a combination of taste, cooking style, and lifestyle. With materials ranging from quartz, granite, marble, and other natural stones, to wood, stainless steel, and corian, the experts at Artisan can help you choose the best fit for you. Appliances? We are part of Appliance Associates, one of Buffalo's oldest and most respected appliance distribution companies with over 30 brands at our fingertips. We have the refrigeration, oven, stove, ventilation, even built-in coffee maker to satisfy every taste and budget. We invite you to visit our live interactive showroom on Amherst Street to look around or make an appointment with one of our designers to guarantee time to discuss your personal project. Artisan Kitchens and Baths. See, touch, feel, and use our products. This portion of the program is sponsored by Pelicano's Pasta Sauces. Made in Buffalo, available everywhere. My son Mitchell was diagnosed October 2007 with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. It was devastating. It was the worst, worst moment of my life. It was like he was away from me and I didn't get to see him. I would say that it has brought us together. You find out that family is important. That family's what matters, it kind of just throws your life up in the air and you stop and kind of reevaluate everything. He's done all those treatments now. We've all taken a lot away from it and learned a lot and changed our lives. We can accomplish anything now since we've accomplished that. Be death. Pretty soon after he was diagnosed, we realized that we were the type of people who always planned everything. And we decided to do everything that we want to do when we want to do it. This kitchen was one of those things. We wanted to make our house a place of peace and a place of love and happiness and joy. Julie at Artisans was great. She took the idea that I had and just finished it. This island has got to be the best part of the kitchen. It's just a great gathering place. We never had that. I hope to accomplish having a permanent memory for my children's happiness, to see them smile and happy and doing things that they love to do. Nice to meet you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I'm feeling southern. I'm feeling buttermilk chicken and red velvet cake and um, some sort of greens. Krista made buttermilk biscuits with a fresh raspberry blackberry jam on the top. The biscuits, quite basic recipe, kind of like making pie dough. And she also made a red velvet cake, which is a traditional, typical type southern dish, which really complemented the meal. We're going to finish that with a cream cheese frosting. I made the old world southern buttermilk fried chicken. I also made the spinach salad with the fresh mushrooms and the sweet sour fresh warm bacon dressing. It's a real homey, home style type of a meal. Hi, Ellie, are you ready for the biscuits? Yeah. This is gonna make the meal, bring the family together, and that southern idea we got going on. I've got my honey, what did you bring for the biscuits today? Blackberry. Oh, I think this is going to make our meal. We started out with the all-purpose flour, added our butter in, which was ice cold. Just a little bit of sugar, salt, and baking powder. We're going to add not all of our buttermilk. Just a little. Okay, three quarters of it, you think? Mm -hmm. And we just had so much fun putting all that together. It's more fun when you do it by hand, isn't it? Yeah. I think so, too. Okay, it's turning into a dough. 
Let's get her out of here and we'll get her on the board. Now, how thick do you watch yours? Oh, no, that was the best. Watching the kids interact and learn and smile and make permanent memories. We finished them off in the oven, 475 degrees. So that was a lot of fun. The biscuits were great. High five, high five, yes! Well, we did a fresh minute salad with some sliced mushrooms, finished it with a sweet sour bacon dressing. Basically, we took some bacon, sauteed it, got it nice and crispy, took it out of the pan, left a little bit of the bacon fat in the pan, it uses our cooking oil. Oh, that was really cool. Um... They really get into cooking. It was, it was really a, a pleasure. We added some sweet red onions. We added cherry vinegar to it. It deglazed the pan and got all the yum-yums on the bottom to come up to the top. And then we added some honey to it and then we reintroduced the bacon. We let it simmer down and reduce just slightly, which is exactly what we were looking for. So it was a nice, warm, not hot, warm bacon dressing on the fresh spinach. Red velvet cake, one of my favorites. Dee, are you ready to get going on this beautiful homemade recipe? Yes, I am. We started out just creaming our butter with our sugar, adding in our vanilla, our vinegar, and then finishing it with sour cream. We put equal parts with the dry mix, was flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt. We put all that together, and then we just slowly added the flour and then a bit of the buttermilk. Just whipped that up nice and smooth. We put that in the little cupcakes. So just a pastry bag, and you can see how I'm just laying it in the measure cup. It was great. Couldn't ask for anything better. And I learned a lot. Okay, do you want to just take it and put it in the yeah. oven? It took about 16 minutes and we're going to finish that with a cream cheese frosting. We took whole vanilla beans and I taught Allie how to scrape the little beads of vanilla. I liked um, how I learned when I was baking. She taught me about the vanilla bean. And then we just put that in our cream cheese frosting, which was just butter, cream cheese, and a lot of powdered sugar. She was so kind, I gave her a pastry bag, and she did all the rest. I just stood back. She decorated them all. It was great, it was a lot of fun today. Enjoyed working with Allie. Today we made old-fashioned buttermilk fried chicken. First we took some seasoning, we added that to the buttermilk, and then we submerged the chicken and we let it sit there for uh, 12 hours. Now what we're gonna do, Mitchell, is we're gonna take, and we're gonna add our batter, as we call it. We're gonna let you do this, how's that? Okay, awesome. We took some flour, we had some seasoning, we took paprika, celery seed, onion powder, salt, and we put it in the white flour. We took the chicken out of the buttermilk, let it drip just slightly, added it to the flour. Just let it drip on, perfect. Put that right in the mixture, okay. In the chicken there was buttermilk and onion and garlic and there's a lot of love in it. This kid is a very intelligent young fellow, a very pleasant young boy, willing to learn, willing to work, and just a real joy to be around. You know, I wish they come up with smell-o-vision so they can actually yeah. smell what we're smelling here. Isn't that great? Yeah. And then we cooked it in about two inches of vegetable oil. When it got nice and brown and crispy, we transferred it to a pan. We placed it in the oven. We finished the cooking till internal temperature was 160 degrees, and then we brought it to the plate for presentation. It was awesome. It was the best meal. A lot of good flavor, quick and easy to make. It was really good. That was the best chicken I have ever had in my entire life. We really enjoyed ourselves. They invited us to have lunch with them today, which was great. Family that cooks together, eats together, stays together. Having the chefs over is a fantastic way to bond the family. Since we don't remember days, we do remember moments. When Art was working with Mitchell on the chicken, and he really made food come alive for him, that's a moment that we'll never forget. At least I won't, and I'm sure the kids won't either. Thank you, come dine with me, Western New York. As prosperous a country as the United States, there is no reason that people should be hungry, but unfortunately they are. Here in Western New York, we serve nearly 100,000 individuals in four counties that are hungry. 39,000 of them are children and 8,000 are seniors. They need our help. Russell Salvatore has been a longtime friend of the food bank. Russell has contributed prizes to our Sweet Charity Gala every February. He also donated when Jixter of 97 Rock was living on a trailer during Rock Out Hunger last November. So any little bit that someone could donate to us, either in a food donation or a financial donation, goes a long way in helping us with our mission of feeding the hungry. Think global. 
but stay local at the Salvatore School of Hospitality and Business at Trocare College, where we prepare you for a future in the ever-growing worldwide hospitality industry. Sometimes being a student and being a mom can be an impossible combination. Trocare gave me the flexibility that I needed to succeed in the classroom and as a parent. A world of opportunity is waiting at the Trocare School of Hospitality. Contact us today and begin your journey to success. When you think Orazio's, think choices. From authentic Italian and fresh seafood to spectacular specials. When you think Orazio's, think homemade. From fresh bread and desserts to made from scratch pastas. When you think Orazio's, think tradition with more than 20 years as a Western New York favorite. And when you think Orazio's, think tonight. Orazio's Restaurant. It's not like home. It is home. I want to thank our whole chefs this evening, Marco Sorrentino of Marco's on Niagara Street. From Frontier Catering, Art Christie, one of the finest caterers in the area. And of course, Krista Van Wagner of Curly's in Lackawanna. When dining out this week, make plans to visit these fine restaurants and the other restaurants you saw on our show today. And just a reminder that we'll be back here next week, same time, same station, and we hope you'll join us again. We're going to begin a new feature segment for all of you wine connoisseurs out there, and that is going to be exciting. So for everyone here at Come Dine With Me Western New York, I'm Jan Farrington. And I'm Ross Salvatore. Time to stick a fork in it, Jan. What do you mean, Ross? We're done. <laughs> you need a professional video for your company or website, but you're wondering where do I begin? Well, check out Key Video, Buffalo's premier television, DVD, and web video production house. We work with big businesses and other companies that think big. Corporate image, sales, training, you name it. Scripting, shooting, editing. We call it concept to completion, and we're ready to go to work for you, for your business, for all life's events. Call Key Video at 884-5391. That's 884-5391. Think global, but stay local at the Salvatore School of Hospitality and Business at Trocare College, where we prepare you for a future in the ever-growing worldwide hospitality industry. In just two years, I got the education I needed to open my own restaurant. Trocare even helped me expand my network in the community. Those connections are priceless. A world of opportunity is waiting at the Trocare School of Hospitality. Contact us today and begin your journey to success. Be our guest, let us do the rest. Beautiful design starts with artisan kitchens and baths. Let us transform your kitchen or bath into the dream room you desire, whatever your style and taste. Artisan kitchens and baths can design and install your vision to perfection. Our design team will work within your budget to give you quality at affordable prices. Update your home with artisan kitchens and baths, 200 Amherst Street, Buffalo. <laughs> 